Hey friends, Shay here. So let's quickly reset my reading for the month of March. So in the month of February, a lot of my assigned reading for myself didn't happen. Um, as you guys know from vlogs, I was helping set up my new store. Um, so it was a lot the last few weeks. It's been very overwhelming. The store is officially open now. Um, the grand opening was amazing, and um, I did actually film the ribbon cutting for our social media, so if you're interested in seeing how that went, I will leave a link to um, the store's social down below, and it's been a very busy week. I've worked a lot of hours this last week, so that's why editing hasn't happened. You're actually seeing this the day, like I'm filming this the day you're seeing it. So I haven't even had time to sit and film this clip because I was too tired before. So anyways, February was a very busy month, but I felt like I still did a fair bit of reading. Some of that was um, in that first week of the month before the store was actually open because we were kind of wrapping up everything at the previous store and saying goodbye to a lot to a lot of those coworkers, like working with them regularly has been hard. Like I miss them already <laughs> and it's only been a couple of weeks, but, um, I feel like we're settling into this new store really well. I feel like we're getting a good team together and it's working really well. So let's kind of, I do plan on like my 12 and 24s, any of them that I didn't do, I am carrying over into February. Um, just a brief stat for you. Um, though I did a lot of reading, um, it wasn't a lot of high quality reading. We'll put it that way. So I ended up with two five stars and one six star in the month of February. Opening my little notes here. So some of the things I'm planning on reading, um, I do have a try three picked out and a on the chopping block picked out. The try three will be a digital series. And then my on the chopping block will probably surprise some people. So that's all I'm going to say here. I haven't quite finished my annotation of Archer's voice. Um, I'll probably work on that a little bit today over the next week or so. And you'll see that annotation as soon as it's up. But the book I'm planning on annotating in the month of March is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This is my favorite Sanderson to date at this point. You, Me, and the Nightmare Painter almost overtook that, but... Warbreaker, there's just something special about it. I don't know if it's because it was my first Sanderson or what, but there is just something special about it, and I'm really excited to go through and annotate that one. Um, some of the other things I know I'll be reading are Unhinged by Vera Valentine. Again, that's one I might even just sit and knock out today. We'll see. Only for the Week by Natasha Bishop. In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. I do plan on finishing Forged by Malice with Izzy. Again, life has been insane. So now that things are kind of going back to a normal, I'm very excited about that. Um, Can't Spell Treason Without Tea, The House My The Housemaid by Freda McFadden. Um, I I don't really do mystery thrillers, and from what I've been told, this is an okay one for me to start with. So that's kind of my thought. Um, I have finished a couple of things already in the month. Um, technically, I read The Fake Mate by Laura, Laura, Lana Ferguson in February, but I didn't remember to count it when I did all my stats. So I'm just putting it in March. So that's a five star for March. Um, Against the Current and then The Stories We Tell by Joanna Gaines. So that's kind of what I've finished so far. I have finished a couple of manga series already, um, but I plan on doing a dedicated video to that, so I'm not going to tell you which ones those are. So I'm looking forward to my reading in March. Some things you can look forward to content-wise. Well, I haven't sat and planned most of that yet. Again, I've kind of alluded to a couple of plans, and then you'll see some staples. I'm sure I'll have a recommendation video in here somewhere. Throughout the month, there were some things. I got tagged in a video, a tag video by a friend, by Maeve over at Maeve Ever Reading. I'll leave her linked down below. She's amazing. She's the one that I meet up and go book and manga shopping with a lot. So I'll leave her linked down below. If you're not following her, 
I highly recommend you do. She's fantastic. So yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to the month of March because it will have some balance and some semblancy. And I will have a big announcement. If you've followed my channel for a long time, you'll know the announcement, aka the month of April is falling into a pattern that I've had for quite a few years now, and I just bring friends along with me. So there's that, and I think that's everything for this particular reset one. I don't have a lot to say because I was so consumed with work, and that almost all of my reading was audiobooks. <laughs> <laughs> I did make a big dent in my audiobook TBR, but my physical TBR, not so much. So we're going to focus on my digital TBR and my physical TBR quite a bit. Because I'm not commuting as far, my audiobook reading will slow down a little bit, and that's okay. Um, my current read, audiobook-wise, is A Fate Eaten in Blood by Danielle Jensen. So very excited. If you're here just because you love me, leave me a heart emoji, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,